morning, Dolly. You ready to be milked? Come on out. We've got this stall nicely cleaned out and fresh straw everywhere. We're just trying to keep her as clean as possible uh, while she's sleeping before milking to keep our milk as clean as possible. This is really my first time milking. I did milk some the day that the calf was born. I milked a little bit, but this is my first time really trying to milk the cow. Dolly, come on, she has other ideas. She's getting a good drink of water. Good morning, pigs. Looks like she's about ready to be milked. She's just leaking out on the ground. After Bree made that video the other day about just the challenges of milking a cow for the first time, we got a lot of comments like, why isn't Art out there helping her? Well, the answer is she actually wants to milk the cow as much as possible these first few weeks because when I'm at work she wants to have it down to a routine where it um she can get it done fairly quickly so she wants to get her hand strength up she actually wants to do this hard work and go through the process over and over and over these first couple weeks to get her hand strength up and get um, the time it takes to milk the cow down anyway Squeeze bar just keeps her over a little on my side. I'm gonna tie up her tail here. Hey, Dolly. I'm just giving her a nice brush down. It. She actually really likes this and it helps relax her. Hopefully, helps her milk let down for us. I'm gonna brush her sides down here and her leg around the udder to try to keep this process as clean as possible. Just get the hair to fall off there. Any big crud on her teeth so a little manure on there. We're just giving her udder a good wash down. Got about a half gallon so far, and she's done awesome. She hasn't kicked at all. I have a hard time using both hands because it takes a little brain power for me. I don't have like this movement down with both hands yet, so I'm using one at a time, which makes it slower. But so far, she hasn't even touched the bucket with her feet a bit. I better turn off the camera and really focus on milking here so she doesn't get too impatient with my novice milking skills. Okay, so I got a gallon and a quarter. Dolly's getting impatient. Um, the calf is on her right now, so we're not gonna get as much as we will when we lock the calf up overnight. Um, but I talked to Bree, she says keep going, you gotta get the hind milk, and I'm gonna keep milking. Okay, I'm done. I got about a gallon and a half with some spilt. I'm gonna get this milk to the house and then feed the rest of the animals. Donald, what are you doing on the porch? You can't go through there. Come on, get off the porch, bud. What are you doing out here anyway? Hi, princess, how are you? Good. Good. We're making Christmas cards. Mama. Our milk is full of fridge. Our milk is completely full of fridge. Nothing quite like that fresh milk. It's still a little bit warm. 
It is completely delicious and creamy. And I'm sorry that you're not trying this right now. We've got a lot of plans for this extra milk that we have just overflowing in abundance. We're gonna make eggnog today, actually a bunch of eggnog for family Christmas parties. We're gonna make a batch of soft cheese coming up and also butter. And then the leftover whey and stuff we'll probably give to the pigs. I made a gallon of yogurt the other day and we've been eating it for breakfast. We've eaten most of it, or half of it. Let's so make some more soon. What are y'all working on here? Christmas card! And I'm about to make chocolate chip cookies. Double chocolate chip cookies. Very pretty. I'll show you how to make them. You're gonna show me how to make one? Mm -hmm. Here's one. Here. She, I make the snowflakes and then she decorates. Um. Star. Then there's a... There's this giant Those of you all who follow our channel really closely will think this is funny. The kids made their own snow globe on the sly. Because we did, Brianna wouldn't buy him one a little while back at the thrift store. And so they just made one with a quart jar. Shake it for me, show it they to me. Even add, like, it's they nice. just showed it to me after they had done it. They're like, Mom, look at the snow globe we made. I know. And there's a spider at the top floating. You know, next time what you can do is glue little figures and stuff to the lid and then they'll be standing in it just like a real snow globe. You have to use like a waterproof glue though. Because it took so long to milk and these chickens are out free ranging right now. They're following me around the yard like, when are you going to feed us? I'll feed you in a minute, don't worry. I'm going to feed these pigs some of this glass gem corn. Kind of a funny thing to do. It's kind of like pearls before swine. But we don't have a whole lot else to do with it. I'm gonna pop some of it. I'm gonna save some of it for seed. So I'm gonna feed them just a little bit now. While he's eating, sometimes you can see his tusks. They're basically extra long teeth that just keep growing and growing in a male hog. And it's one thing that can make a hog dangerous. They can slash you with those. He's not really much of a slasher though. Water for the cows and goats. Water for the piggies. Dolly and Brownie are hanging out up here. Everyone's chasing me now. Don't worry, I'm gonna feed you, it's okay. Out you go, goats. Good morning. Chicky, 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 chicky. Come on, chickens. Now that I'm actually feeding the chickens, they're all down at the barn and not following me. Our fence charger has been having some issues. I'm trying to troubleshoot it and figure out what it is. So I need to contact Premier One and see what they recommend. Oh, here they come, they see me now. Donald's passing everyone using his fast run flap technique. He's incredibly fast when he does that. All right, everyone go into the fence. So they're all standing right here and their food is actually just right up there. All it'll take is one of them to figure out the food's there, and then the rest will catch on. There you go. Bree and the kids are in here wrapping Christmas presents together, watching a Christmas movie, an old Christmas movie. I thought I'd show you this one gift that I was pretty proud of. I made this for my sister. I drew her name in our family Christmas drawing. This is really my first foray into leather work or handling a knife. That came out wrong. I can handle a knife, but putting a handle on a knife. So it's an antler handle from that buck we found in our back pasture dead. 
and a more uh, carbon steel blade. You can see it's stained a little bit from the wet sheath. It's just the most basic job you could do. It's only antler and the blade. There's, I don't have a guard or any, um, gosh, what do they call that? Just antler and blade. The tang for this blade goes all the way down to about here. The tip of the tang sits right there. And then the sheath was I wet molded it on the knife and hand stitched it. It goes in and out um, easily and yet has a pretty good retention there. If I shake it upside down, it won't fall out. I was pretty happy with how this turned out and I hope to do more of this kind of work in the future. Okay, that was another great day on the homestead. Thank y'all very much for joining us. Please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and come along on this journey. We'll see you in our next. Hi, Brianna. <laughs> see you in the next video. Should be tomorrow. I think it'll be tomorrow.